Welcome back to the Colorado State Cyclocross Championships. Pro women about to start. Very cold here in Arvada, low teens. Lots of different techniques for dealing with the mud that's soon going to be caked on the bottom of these shoes. Presto. All right, 22 women at the start line. It's a 45 minute race and off they go. Looks like we've got a nice clean start. That's always good to see. Occasionally see crashes when everyone's flying out of the start like they are here. And no surprises early on. It's Lisa Strong jumping away. She's done that all season. She's got six wins this year. She was second at States last year. And you will notice there's some men out on the course. It's actually the 45 plus age group. They started about a minute ahead of the women. Now we see some of our women racers heading down the very tough descent, right on the edge of a lot of their comfort zones. But races like this, they're a proven ground. You succeed here, chance to move on to bigger and better things. One rider who definitely did that was Colorado Springs resident Katie Compton. She cut her teeth on the local scene. Now she's the number one ranked rider in the world. No, I think it made a big difference. Like I raced the women's race and then the Cat 3 men's race, and it just helped learn how to go fast and ride kind of above what your ability is. Um, I learned how to ride fast technically. Like I think my technical skills improved. My ability to suffer improved a lot too. I think definitely doing two back-to-back -back cross races, it hurts. So um, it makes one seem a little bit easier. So I, th I just think it helped overall, just made me a better bike racer. Yeah, you heard that correct, folks. Katie Compton would do two races in one day. She'd race the men first, then go out with the women. Sounds painful, but now she's on top of the world rankings. Back to our women's race, Lisa Strong still on top. Karen Hogan, you see her here. Only rider in the vicinity, but we see mud. It's starting to build up on all the bikes. And the best case scenario with that is your bike just gets heavy. Worst case, it actually will stop working altogether. Riders making their way through the wheel of thunder. Trick here, maintain focus and stay on that fast line. Now we see a rider getting a bike change. They head into the pits, and yes, they actually have a second bike, a pit crew. They trade the dirty bike in, they get a clean one, and that way you don't actually have to worry as much about mechanical problems. Strong, back at the front, continues to lead. She's a former pro mountain biker, showing off those skills, nice and smooth over the barriers. And Lisa Strong back on the bike, nice and smooth, nothing wrong with that picture. And here we go, at the finish, Lisa Strong, surrounded by 45 plus men, but there she is pumping that fist. State champion 2009. And there's Karen Hogan, and she takes second place. Great result for the 44 year old. Final top 10 from the women's pro race, and it's Nicole Duke slotting in there in third behind Hogan and Strong. Both are top two. They're mothers, and they come from racing families. Really cool story. Hogan's 12 year old son was second in the junior race today. Two second places for the Hogan family. Husband Mike, not quite so good. He was seventh in the 35 plus field. All three, they now head up to Bend, Oregon for the national championships. As for Lisa, strong she has a 15 month old named lucy this season her and her husband derek actually would take turns babysitting while the other one raced the key to today's win i don't know the key to success today other than go 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 I mean, it's cold out there it's hard to kind of gauge your effort it's hard to get your legs spinning over i was told i needed to be first in the single track of the hill so i gunned it from the start and tried to never look back i had a bit of a bigger gap in the middle and then karen's always good at the end and she chased me right down to the line I didn't know until I got down the bottom of that last hill. It was awesome. So excited. We'll be right back with the start of the men's pro race. Later, we'll take you inside the pits. Now you're state champion. So pumped. 